Problem 17. How many three-digit positive integers a, b, c are there whose non-zero digits, very important, non-zero, um, satisfy the following exp expression? A trick to simplify and repeating decimals. x, set that equal to a variable such as x. That's become a, b, c repeating. The number of repeating terms, you multiply it by 10 to that, to that power. There's three repeating terms, so 10 third, x is equal to a, b, c, right, dot a, b, c repeating. And so with this information, what can we say? We can say this minus that. Well, that means 9, 9x, nine, right, is the same thing as a, b, c. Right, so that means x is the same thing as a, b, c over 9, 9, 9. Now, with this understanding, what can we say? We can also say that x is equal to the repeating decimal. So that is the fraction form of x. But a, b, c is a three-digit number. And let's write that as an expansion of the sum of terms, because that's going to be 100a plus 10b plus c. The reason why you don't want to write it as a, b, c, because that's going to confuse yourself. Is that multiplication? No, that's just a three-digit number. So divided by 9, 9, 9 is going to equal what? It's going to equal 1 over 27, right, of uh, let's see, a plus b plus c. Now, why is it 1 over 27? Because what is this? Well, that is 10. There's only one repeating term, so that's 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. That means it's a over 9. That's the same as for each one. So we factor out 1 over 9, multiply by 1 over 3 to get 1 over 27. You can do it for each and factor it out, and you will see what I mean. But for the sake of time, I'm going to simplify it as this. Now, 9, 9, 9, and 27, they look awfully divisible. So let's divide it by 9 to see what we get. That's 1, 1, 1 over 3. But wait a minute, that's sum equal to 3, so that's equal to um, 37. So that means you're going to multiply this by 37 over 37 to get what? To get, well, uh, that gets 999, and this becomes 37. So that's what you ultimately get. But then we can multiply 999 on both sides to, get, to cancel out 999. So that's 100a, right, plus 10b plus c is the same thing as 37a plus 37, right, b plus 37c. Now we simplify. Subtract 37, 63a. Right, minus 27b minus 36c is equal to 0. Divide by 3, 21. Divide by 3, 9. Divide by 3, 12. Divide by 3 again. That's going to be 4. Divided by 3, that's 3. And divided by 3, that's 7. So if you simplify, 7a is the same thing as 3b plus 4c. Finally, now let's try to find all possible ABC values. Notice something special. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. The coefficients match. That means if ABC are the same terms, it must give me the exact same um, constant, right? Because consider 7a minus 3b minus 4c. What happens when a, b, c are the same? Well, that means this cancels out into zero, and so we will always have a valid solution when a, b, c are the same. So we have 1, 1, 1, 1, all the way to 9, 9, 9 to be a solution. So that means we have how many we have how many terms? We have nine terms. So we have nine solutions for now. But how, what else can we say? Notice the difference between 3 and 4. 3 and 4 differ by 1, and so b and c must respectively differ by 1 as well. So 7a has to equal what? Let's say that the solution is x. That means it's x plus 4, right, and plus um, 4 times x minus 3, right? Or we can do a vice versa, where we can say that b is x minus 3, and we can say that d is x plus 4. And so, how, and so why, why do you think this works? Well, if you simplify this, what do you get? You get 7a is equal to what? 7x plus 12 minus 12. In other words, x is equal to a. So that means when x, for any x is given to a, we can find the relationship between a, b, and c. So we have case 1, and we have case 2. For case 1, let's consider this case where um, we have this and this. Well, remember, this is c, and, uh, and this is b. Well, obviously, x must be larger than or equal to 3, right? Or actually larger than 3, because it has to be non-zero. So x can equal 4. When x is equal to 4, that means that's a, right? So I'll no longer write it as x is equal to 4. I'll say a is equal to 4. If a is equal to 4, then that means b is equal to 8, and that means c is equal to 1. And you see where this goes. We can do a is equal to 5. If a is equal to 5, then that means b is equal to 5 plus 4 is 9, and c is equal to 5 minus 3, which is 2. But then what about a is equal to 6? Well, a is equal to 6, that means x plus 4 becomes 10, which is impossible. It must be unit digits. So this is done for case 1. Consider case 2. I suspect this is going to be quite similar because it's symmetry, right? And so, but let's just see to make sure. x must be larger than 3. And so when x is, when x is equal to 4, a is equal to 4. That means b is equal to 1, and c is equal to 8. Wait a minute, this is obviously symmetry because we just flop. We just swap each one around. So there's going to be another solution right here. So there's going to be four total solutions. 4 plus 9 that we already had give me 13. And so 13 would be your final answer. And so answer choice D would be your answer.